Well, welcome to Your Optimum Health. I'm Jeff Harris along with Dr. Edwin Chen. Dr. Chen, um, I just love these sessions, by the way, because I get to, I get to ask questions that sometimes intrigue me that, that help kind of uncover more information. So if you haven't caught these, like the last session we talked about was all about our hormones. And if you're if you're someone who's getting older and you don't feel like you did when you was 20, 30 years old, you need to go back and watch this last segment. But today, you know, Dr. Chen, we're gonna talk about something that it seems like maybe as little as five years ago, no one talked about this stuff. Yeah. You know, right. and now, now it seems like everybody and their brother-in-law has a problem with either the wrong bacteria in their stomach, got lucky, mm-hmm. leaky gut, whatever. So take us through that when what what bacteria is supposed to be in our stomach and when it's out of balance, what's going on? us through that when what what bacteria is supposed to be in our stomach and when it's out of balance what's going on okay years ago we thought bacteria is all bad okay and 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 and, and the 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 person who is is great or saint is when his shit doesn't smell <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that, that was a concept okay wrong because it turns out that we have millions of bacteria in our large intestine and they do a lot of work. They mm. do a lot of work, good work. Uh, t- in fact, they make hormones. Oh, really? That go to the brain. Ah. So there's a gut brain connection now. It's a tremendous connection, a very strong connection. So these millions of bacteria are needed. So the guy who smells is better than the guy who doesn't smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we say that? Yeah, okay. Then the bacteria have genes, all right? Years ago, we don't care about the bacteria's genes. Now we found out that the bacteria has more genes than we have. Oh, really? In number of genes. Okay, so that means any little thing you do, everything little change, little change of diet from, you know, yesterday being a meat eater, today to be a more vegetarian, it changes your gut, gut flora. Flora is the mm. and microbiome is the word. If you haven't heard about it, learn about it. Micro- microbiome. Microbiome. Meaning okay. the micro, uh, the bacteria environment okay. in your gut. Okay. It's called microbiome, and the microbiome changes instantly. The, just you know, in a day or two of mm. you changing your 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 your, your, your diet from meat eater to a vegetarian or vegetarian to meat. So what okay. happens? Uh, taking off this. So mm-hmm. what happens with those people that like? Every year, my wife and I will do some kind of a cleanse. It'll be like a 30-day yeah. cleanse. Yeah. Is that is is that then shifting like almost immediately when we go from hey, yeah. we're a lot of meat or whatever, we take pasta out of the diet, Absolutely. the whole thing. Ah, okay, absolutely right. interesting. Yeah, okay. and uh, and what happens when you go on a fast is that the bad bacteria, who depends on certain uh, uh, dietary things that you eat, uh, suddenly now are being starved, and so. Uh, they reduce in number. That's why it's good to do a periodic fast. Oh, okay. Yes, bad okay. bacteria reduce in number, and the good ones don't. The good ones uh, 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 depends on ketones, for example, to to survive. So, so uh, ketone is something that our liver will make when we don't have glucose. Okay. If you go on a fast, you have no glucose. You you you, you don't take in any glucose. Okay. And the, how can you survive? Right. Your brain needs glucose. Well, your liver turns all that fat that you have in your body into ketones. Uh-huh. And that will feed your brain and feed your gut. Gotcha. Good bacteria. But the bad guys don't get it. So the so, bad bacteria, so, so you're saying that, that in, our, in our gut, we have a level of bad and good bacteria. And yes, and good. I mean, is there, is there, a, is there a balance there? Absolutely. Or is one is greater than the other? There is a balance. There's okay. a tremendous balance. Uh, and, and, uh, that's, uh, and when the balance is out, when the bad bacteria, which are usually in gram negative, uh, overwhelm the good bacteria, which you hear all the time, acidophilus, lactobacillus, which that's why people are taking that orally, yogurt, things like that. When, when they take these good bacteria, uh, or if they don't take it and the good bad ones overwhelm them, then danger happens, mm. diseases can happen. And so like intestinal dysbiosis, 
meaning overgrowth of the gram-negative bacteria. It's a disease and it can cause leaky gut. Uh, okay. And leaky gut basically is the, a damaged gut. And leaky just means increased permeability. You know, to traditional doctors like to say, increased diagnosis, increase, increased intestinal permeability. That's their diagnosis. Okay. For guys like us, you know, we say leaky gut. <laughs> and they used to laugh at us. Yeah. 10 years ago, they, the traditional doctors laugh at the doctors who use the word leaky gut. Hmm. The gut doesn't leak. Yeah. Come on, you know. That's what they, they, they laugh at. But with the reason we, I, like the word leaky gut, because it makes the patient understand it very, very easily. Hmm. Much more easier to understand, you know, that the word leaky gut than the word Oh, what do I have? I have increased intestinal permeability. Yeah. What, what, what's that? <laughs> you know. So, so, and so, people can understand the word leaky a lot more. And basically, good good food leaks into the intest uh, into the bloodstream, where it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Yes, okay. it should stay in the gut. And as and as things like gluten, which cannot be digested, even staying in the intestine cannot be digested. Mm. Once you get out of the intestine into the blood, you are in trouble. Oh boy. Autoimmune diseases. Okay. You know, That's where our body's attacking ourselves. Yes. Misunderstanding. Exactly. Okay. All Autoimmune right. diseases okay. like Hashimoto's, diabetes, are uh, very frequently associated with uh, autoimmune disease. Okay. So I, that was my next question is from that, that imbalance, you know, what kind of things show up when there's too much bad bacteria and not enough good? What kind of, are, are there symptoms that we see? Yeah, okay. Sy the symptoms, uh, let's just pick the small intestine. Okay. Okay. And small intestine, when you have too much bacteria, it's called SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. When you have that symptom, you have bloating and you have, after you eat, you regurgitate, uh -huh. uh, uh, you got acid or the food that you just ate an hour, half an hour ago, whoop, came up, mm. okay? And um, so so you go to a doctor and, and it's acidic because your, your stomach is acidic and you go to a doctor and the doctor does the wrong thing. They give you anti-acid. Mm. Anti-acid is the wrong thing because it takes that red light out of your problem. Rather than treat the bacteria overgrowth or diagnose it and treat the problem, now it takes away the acid. Yeah. So now you regurgitate, it's not acidic. You feel good. Oh, I just regurgitate my meat that I ate t two hours ago and it's not, it's not sour to me. And I feel pretty good. Hmm. You know, that, that, and that, but that's a wrong treatment completely. So that's di that, that's treating the, that's treating the symptoms, not the cure. Yes. Like the, like the yes. cause. The pro proton, okay. proton pump inhibitor, they call that. Proton pump is the pump that makes acid should be banned in my view mm. literally should be banned yeah the, if the fda is up to date should should take it off the market because we see ns is being sold over counter just oh, oh yeah all the time all the time right all yes, the time all the time and so that that really is a reverse issue yes. okay and 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 it has to do with inability to digest and all that because when you get the food down to the uh the, the small intestine the small intestine is inflamed mm. now once inflamed it says hey Go back up. It tells them, go back up. I, I can't handle this much. Got you. Okay, you, you, you had a big meal. I can only one, handle one fourth. So come slowly. So they kick it up. That's what the, ooh, that's that regurgitation. Ah, interesting. Yeah, and then bloating, uncomfortable, gassy. Well, the intestine is telling you, stop mm -hmm. eating, man. Boss, boss, yeah. stop eating. It's giving you a message. Okay. So they eat a little bit. And they feel bloated already. They, wow. they, they they don't feel like eating, no mm. matter how good the food is. Mm. So they uh, that's another sign of it. Um, so when somebody goes to when you take someone to a five star restaurant and you and say, "What's your favorite me uh, 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 dish?" He says, "Oh, uh, I like uh, fett fettuccine carbonara." Let's say, okay, mm. fett and you order, okay, waiter, fettuccine carbonara. And he just barely touched one mm. quarter of the dish and he stopped. He said, what happened? I'm full. Yeah. That. That's a clue. That's a clue. Wow. Because he loved that. Yeah. And as soon as he eats one quarter, he says, I'm full. Hey, you got SIBO. You got small intestine bacteria. Because go, 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 the small intestine said, hey, yeah. that's it. That's yeah, all we can take. Yeah, because when you love it, you should swallow the whole plate. Sure, sure, You should sure. swallow the whole plate. Mm. 
Yeah, that's so, interesting. So yeah. that's a that's a big sign. But but now you're talking about just in the small intestine. What, yeah. What about in the large intestine? Oh, large intestine, flatulence, uh, gassy. Okay. And diarrhea. Okay. And um, and watery diarrhea, constipation, diarrhea, constipation, uh, going up and down and up and down and up and down. Gotcha. Uh, that's another sign. That's sign of the large intestine now, uh, and the reason the large intestine is different from the small intestine is there's a valve. Uh, at the uh, junction of the appendix. The appendix is right at the junction where it separates the large intestine from the small intestine. And God built us intending the small intestine to have no bacteria at all. Uh, sterile, uh. sterile, yes, Okay. no bacteria. And yet, because of the uh, 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 appendectomy, dumb thing to do, you know, it used to be, you know, now, now the thing is to preserve the appendix as mm. much as you can. Don't cut it out. Old days, what is that for? That's it's it's, it's something that's useless in your body. Cut it out, so you don't have to have the you don't have to have uh, appendicitis anymore. Uh. Dumb act, because now you do the appendix, take the appendix out, it, it affects the elliptical valve. Now the bacteria from below comes up uh -huh. to the small intestine. Gotcha. And they live in the small intestine. Gotcha. And then gives you the SIBOs. See the diagnosis mm. of small intestinal mm. bacterial growth. Coming back to the to the colon, when 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 the colon gets uh, uh, disposed, it is crazy. It is totally out of control hmm. because that's where the where the worms live. Oh boy! Uh, you know, round worm, uh, uh, you know, flat worm, all kinds of worm. They live in the uh, large intestine. That's where they choose to live. So the environment is like the ghetto. Gotcha. Okay? The large intestine is the ghetto. So when the ghetto is in trouble, and you know it is in big trouble, riots. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the diarrhea, you have constipation, mm. zigzag, 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 and 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 those are the symptoms and signs. Gotcha. So so how are, are there tests people can take to find out if their if their bacterial levels are out of whack? Absolutely. Or they have yeah. leaky gut. Well, uh, the leaky gut is diagnosed differently. Okay. When, uh, uh, because to convince the traditional doctor that, that you got leaky gut, you have to have the, the scientific, scientific antibody test against your intestinal wall. Mm. That's when they accept it. Okay. okay. But but coming back to a more general approach. The bacteria. Yeah, the, it, somebody says, well, it, I started having diarrhea, well, it's the constipation, I have constipation, I have a lot of gas, you know, what do I do? Do a stool test, a three-day stool test, okay. not at the hospital, not at LabCorp. You know, but but to a, tro pro a professional stool lab like Doctors Data Genova, who gives you a four-page report. If your stool report is one page, you got cheated. Ah, you got cheated. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. In China, it's one line. Wow. In China, stool test is ten yuan, which is a dollar seventy-five. Wow. Something like that. Wow. That cheap. Wow. One line, no parasite. That's it. <laughs> And I don't know how true that would be, even, you know, yeah. yeah. But here in the States, it's four pages, it's four pages much long. more complete. It, yeah, it tells you, it tells you the uh, good bacteria concentration, the lactobacillus concentration, the bifidobacteria concentration, the good bacteria concentration, how many, uh, how much you have the good ones. And then they tell you how much of the bad ones. So uh -huh. you instantly see you're out of balance or And does not. it give you, a, it, does it say, hey, this is a good range, this is where you're at? I mean, does it give just a comparison? Pluses. They just give you a plus. Oh, uh, okay. So, so you, one plus, two plus, one plus is some, two plus, three plus, four plus, four plus, you got a lot of it, okay. whatever that it be. Okay. You know, so you the, the stool test will instantly tell you, you know, the, the, the balance, shall we say, and then when you get inflamed, uh, when you get parasite, they see the parasite, of course. And then when you uh, get inflamed, they also see the inflammatory uh, uh, components and the a a antigens, the IG IgA, IgG mm. in the intestine, and, uh, because uh, because of the inflammation in the intestine. So you see that too. Okay. Yeah, and you and you see fungus, mm -hmm. which people don't even consider it a pathogen, and I do consider fungus a pathogen meaning it does bad things to us. So you can have fungus in your, your gut. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. So, and you can only see it on a Genova or Dr. Stater type 
of lab laboratory stool test. Yeah, so that's something that, that, that if, if they were somebody, if you were somebody local, I mean, is that something that you provide? Yes. Can you do yes. that here? Yes, yes. Okay. We, we, we just, you know, just call and we'll give you a prescription for free. Okay. You, you don't have to be a patient of mine. Okay. You know, just call, call the office and I'll give you a prescription and just go, go, go do it. And if you see a problem, then you come, come in. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is all about this is all about bacteria and there's good level I mean so good levels and bad levels so yeah. you'll always have some bad bacteria in your stomach but always okay we just always. don't want it to get out of control exactly we want to keep them in the ghetto yes and in the control exactly <laughs> right? correct but now let me make sure I understood this so you said in the in the small intestines that should be pristine yes pristine. but in the large intestine that's where all the activities going on with the different levels of bacteria yes okay gotcha um, anything we missed there with bacteria yeah we we missed the probably not missed but the, the connection between the bacteria and the leaky gut. Ah, yes, of course. And then the autoimmune disease as a result of leaky gut. Okay. 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 So, so all the inflammation is, I don't care. You know, so what? I have sometimes it's diarrhea, sometimes it's constipation, and I have a lot of gas. So what? It doesn't mm -hmm. bother me. It bothers other people. <laughs> okay? Wrong, mm -hmm. wrong. Because when that goes on for a long time, your in large intestine gets inflamed, it becomes leaky. Leaky meaning there are uh, defective defects on the wall of the intestine. And the intestinal cell, the absorption cells, one cell layer thick. Wow. That's all. Wow. Very easy. That 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 that, that layer is very easy to break. Hmm. And when it breaks, now you got problems. Okay. What problem? Or your bad bad bacteria get into it. That's number one. That was supposedly in your ghetto. Now these people get out of the ghetto. And they get into these high priced homes and start robbing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? And we saw that in Alzheimer's, we call uh, uh, LPS, right. lipoparinsaccharide. These are bacterial toxins. They make toxins. Mm. They caca too. They, they, they make defecations also. So, wait a second. So, so, you're saying, so, you're saying as this progresses, it could actually cause leaky gut, which then could trigger Alzheimer's? Yeah. Wow. Because it, now that toxin goes into the brain, you know, and... Because it's in your bloodstream now. Yes, right? okay. it's in the blood. All right, so it's traveling. It traveling, goes into ah. the brain, and it stays in the brain. So that, that, that ghetto guy, that homeless ghetto guy, now got out of the ghetto, you know, go, go onto the main street, and now settles in Beverly Hills. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> okay, the brain. Yeah. Call it the Beverly Hills. The, okay. the, the area that's oh man, you know we the, the we, we need should it be to protected. Function. It should be protected. Yeah. It goes in through, through the blood brain barrier. In fact, so they isolate the LPS from the brains of Alzheimer's patients. So then it starts to cause these uh, brain problems. Mm. And so you will never imagine that your Alzheimer's or Parkinson's could be a result of a leaky gut. You know, some, some, some patient come to me and, you know, just have shaking problems, for example, and, you know, like Parkinson or, or tremor and, and boom, turns out that they have leaky gut. And that actually took a long time to get there. Wow. It, in other words, the God created the blood brain barrier very well to protect this, this valuable computer. And uh, so it takes many years of leaky gut to damage that computer. Wow. So these are the serious things, okay? Then also the leaky gut is associated with good food getting into the blood. Banana, apple, you know, these good stuff. Good stuff that we healthy stuff. So even if somebody's Corn. so even if somebody's thinking I'm eating well, yeah. it's still going right through that, that area that's been permeated. Yeah, it's, ah. it's 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 good for you nutritiously, but once you get in the blood, it's bad. Yeah. Banana in the blood shouldn't oh. be there. Shouldn't be there. Yeah. At all. And then it travels throughout your body right into to the brain. Tra yeah. Yeah. Into the brain too. Mm. And uh, before it gets to the brain, the lymphocytes are already locked in. Okay. okay lymphocytes are soldiers basically synthesize antibodies, lock them in, just like an immunization. Okay. Okay. Like I give you a polio, virus, polio vaccination or, or, or mom's vaccination or herpes vaccination. We give you a shot. I mean, before it gets to the brain, the body attacks that, mm. that, uh, that, that vaccine. And same thing with the, with the banana. They attacked it and they formed the antibody against it and locked them in. You can't get into the brain. No, I'm sorry. It's like police, okay? It's like the, you know, they see a homeless guy walking towards the, 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 the uh, high-end high home. 
they stop them, where's your ID, where do you live? Da, da, da. No, you can't get there. They lock you and put handcuffs on you. Okay, so, well, that's good, that's good, but these cops, when they're too busy locking people, they will now misfire. Meaning that when they see a homeless person who's protein, they dress that way, okay? Unfortunately, our thyroid and our pancreas dress the same way oh. in many parts, okay? The protein structure on the surface of our organs, especially thyroid pancreas, are very much like the bananas and the apples. Interesting. So when these antibodies lock into a banana all the time, now when they see your pancreas and your, your, your thyroid, they're gonna attack your thyroid. So you're Mistakenly, starting to attack yourself. Now you good have, stuff. You have autoimmune disease. Now wow. you have Hashimoto disease. You have, pan, you have diabetes, autoimmune diabetes. Mm, wow. so, 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 so the leaky gut becomes big problem, more big problem because of what leaked through. Very serious. What leaked through. So, okay, so I have to ask you then, so, because, I mean, this sounds like dire information, but it, it, is it reversible? Absolutely. And, 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 and the reverse, uh, uh, reversible is the, is, is the reverse, the leaky gut first. Fix the hole. Fix it. Fix the hole. Okay. Po close the hole. Put the gate down like Donald Trump says, build a wall, okay? <laughs> build a wall, we're gonna pluck that hole so no banana goes through, no bad bacteria goes through, nothing goes through. Whatever stays in the intestine, stays in the intestine. That's what's, and that takes a year. Takes a year to fix that hole. That takes a year wow. to fix that hole. So during that whole year, you still got things leaking yeah. through, but not as bad yeah. every day, okay. Exactly, and just trying to repair, and you, next thing is stay away, you should do a food allergy test. You should, stay away from banana and apple if you're allergic to banana and apple. So are some of those things that you said stay away from bananas, or in mm -hmm. this example, mm -hmm. are there some foods then that, that are not creeping into the blood system, bloodstream? No, all of them creep through. It's just your police didn't arrest them and, and get sensitized to them. Okay, so when you say take a food test, a yes. food test, yes. then you'll know, hey, okay, if, if bananas and apples show up, you're saying, hey, those are the ones that were obviously, but- Cannot take. Yeah, you can't, you gotta stop that. Yeah. Because the other stuff wasn't cre wasn't being identified. Yes. I got you, okay. The, the, those leak through too, but the cops, your cops, didn't stop them and didn't get sensitized enough. Mm -hmm. Like our cops right now, especially in the home, 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 home and security, uh, the border patrol guys, I mean, they're very sensitized to Arab, Arab, Arabic faces. Right. Middle Eastern faces. Right. They're sensitized. Right. So if you're a Middle Eastern guy, traveling, driving in a car from Canada, you're gonna be more likely to be stopped than mm. me, yeah. Asian, okay? Because you've created a, a particular profile. Profile. Gotcha, okay, yes. that makes sense. But inside, your body's just, just saying, yeah. hey, the apples and the bananas, we've profiled it, and even though it matches other parts of your, your body, it attacks <coughs> that too. So if we eliminate that, then there's right. less of that going on. So I basically, like I, me telling my I mean, you know, no, Egyptian friend in Canada, hey, you know, right now, don't come to the USA. Gotcha. If you come, fly, don't drive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Right. Or by boat. Okay. You know? It's the same thing. So, yeah. so you can. You, it's reversible. Takes about a year mm -hmm. to clear that up, but you should get a food allergy test, test. to find yeah. out what foods are stay you sensitive to, and then you stay away from those. Yeah. What are the things going on? I mean, is this now your because that's an out of balance of, of the bacteria, but it also has a hole. So now what's the next step? So we've reduced the food. Now now what we do? Well, now we wait for the cups to die. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. So we, that's just a time thing. Yes, that's why it takes yes, a year. Yes. Ah. We, 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 now we depend on the lymphocytes. Hey, you drop off, you die. Gotcha. Okay. So hopefully, if you don't have banana, in a year's time, he dies. Nobody recognizes banana. You start all new again. So that's why it's important. You can eat it again. So that's why it's important for somebody who's going through that, as an example, to say, "Hey, I feel really good today," and then they get off the wagon, if yeah, you will. Exactly. And now they recharge. Does that does that almost re-aggravate the yeah, whole thing yeah, again? Yeah. Ah, so gotcha. So if you're allergic to you know gluten, and you take gluten PR, you you never get well. Yeah, gotcha. You, you're always training your soldiers. You're tra always ah, training your border patrol. Gotcha. Makes against sense. that strange face. Wow. Features we call it. You wow. know. And, and, and they're going to be, they're going to be reactive. 
So we've taken you down this road of bacteria and we started in the gut. We started to say, hey, here's some symptoms of it. As an example, in the in the small intestines, it was like, hey, you're starting to have some, we call it acid reflux mm -hmm. or food coming mm -hmm. back up when it shouldn't happen. Yeah. And then masking it by taking anti-acids. That's not the answer because that's the part of your body should be really pristine. Then the next part was, there's a part of your body where you should have some bacteria, and that's mm -hmm. in your that's in your exactly. large intestine, intestine right? Yeah. But then, if it's out of balance, we could have some leaky gut issues. Yes. All right. Um, wow. This is to me. This has been like we've unearthed some really neat things here. That, uh, that there's probably a lot of people walking around out there that might have this. So the the bloating, the bacteria, the extra yeah. the extra weight on, uh, you know, the 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 wild cycles yeah. in there, in how they they defecate, where it's runny, then it's diarrhea, then it's constipated. Yeah. All of that cycle going right? for ten years. Wow. And say, I have this problem, yeah. but I live with it. Yeah. But it can be stopped. Oh my God. Yeah. You know. It can be stopped. Oh my God. No. 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 It's a big problem. It's okay. not a small problem. So you said you said they can contact the office. We'll put the number on the screen now. The number on the office, and you'll give them a prescription sure. for this stool test. Yeah. And it should be one of those things. If there are anything less than four pages, yeah. You've got the wrong test. You, you got the wrong lab. <laughs> you got the wrong lab. Excuse me. Yeah. So LabCorp is not the place to go for that. No. Nothing against LabCorp. They're more no. what more blood and whatnot. Yeah. So this is for a stool test. Stool test to find out what's going on inside. And then uh, probably need to, probably not every doctor. Yes, I a mean, lot of doctors don't even know that, unfortunately. So, I mean, I still today, you know, I see patients refer to me having stool tests by doctors done by LabCorp. Gotcha. <laughs> mm. so I, I, have you had a stool test? Yeah. Where? LabCorp. Yeah. Toss it away. Yeah. Now, Dr. Chen, I know because we're in your we're in the room where you do this, where you do telemedicine. Is this is this something you can treat from from a distance as well? Sure. Okay. Exactly. So so if you had somebody, if you're on the other end, you say, "Gosh, these are symptoms that I have, or my yeah. spouse has, or somebody that I know has." You, you can still contact. In. You don't have to fly in. Go do the stool test, yeah. and then give the uh, give the results to Dr. Chen, and you can treat him. Through telemedicine. Through telemedicine. But realize this is one of those things, it's going to take some time, right? Yes. It's going to take some time to turn it around because it could have taken, like you said, it could have been this way for 10 years, yeah. right? So it's not like it's not like just, you know, painting a room and it's a different color today. Yeah. It's going to take some time. And the other thing you said is make sure you get the food allergy test. Yes. Because that's going to, because otherwise you're just re-aggravating re the system. It's like, hey, the fire's almost out. Let's put some more gas on it. Yeah. Right? Right, exactly. And so we want to make sure to, to understand that. And, and don't go back until it's done. But yeah. give yourself, so is that pretty, and I'm not trying to nail you down. I'm just trying to get a general idea. Is that a worst case scenario or is that just average? Average. So, it, it, I mean, if it's worse, it could be longer yeah. or is that? No, worse would be, it's the end result. You got Alzheimer's now uh -huh. from the LPS. You got severe Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. That's tough. Mm. You got, you know, you got uncontrollable uh, diabetes uh -huh. from autoimmune disease from a leaky gut. Wow. That's when I call a headache. So this is nothing to think lightly about is, hey, I've just got some gas in my stomach, I got some diarrhea. If it's a reoccurring issue, it, mm -hmm. it's an issue, folks. Don't put it off. Yeah. So we've got Dr. Chen's number on there if, you, if you're interested in, in calling him and getting that test, which I'd highly recommend. Um, but if not, if you're, if you're out of the area, do the same thing. Dr. Chen, you can handle them uh, long distance, as you said. Anything else about leaky gut that, I mean, you've got us on our toes after this episode. That's about it. That's what they should know. Great. Well, Dr. Chen, again, thank you so much for being su such a wealth of knowledge. Because again, our average, our average doctors, we're probably not going to see this. Like you said, LabCorp, yeah. not going to see this, yeah. right? And like you said in China, that one line, probably not going to get it done, right? <laughs> yeah. So thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Harrison. Dr. Edmund Chen. And we'll see you next time on Your Optimum Health.